Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is a heterogeneous group of blood cancers affecting over 1 million people in the U.S. and Europe. Despite improvements in outcomes in both indolent and aggressive types due to the introduction of rituximab-based regimens, the mortality rate is still high for patients with recurrent disease. The standard first-line treatment for patients with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is targeted immunotherapy with rituximab alone or in combination with chemotherapy. In both first- and second-line treatment, rituximab is usually combined with chemotherapy. Rituximab targets the antigen CD20 on malignant B lymphocytes. But in some patients, rituximab proves ineffective over time for various reasons. One of the reasons may be downregulation of the CD20 antigen, making it difficult for rituximab to bind to the cell. These patients face limited treatment options and a poor prognosis. There is a significant unmet need for novel therapies, even for indolent forms, in particular in patients who are refractory to prior therapies. Targeting a different antigen, such as CD37, could offer these patients an alternative treatment option. CD37 is highly expressed on B cells, including B cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and so represents a novel therapeutic target. This is why beta-lutein was developed to target CD37. Beta-lutein consists of the monoclonal antibody lilotimab and the beta-admitting isotope lutetium-177. Lilotimab targets the CD37 antigen. While some of the antibodies can detach and then either bind to another CD37 antigen or get metabolized and excreted, over time most of the lilotimab antibodies are internalized. Antibody internalization anchors the lutetium-177 isotope inside the tumor cell, resulting in prolonged beta particle exposure to the nucleus. Beta particle emission destroys tumor cell DNA and causes cell death. Beta-lutein also has a crossfire effect, which destroys surrounding tumor cells, including cells that have lower CD37 expression, or cells that are in areas that are poorly vascularized. The crossfire effect extends to a radius of 40 cells, hence minimizing the impact on surrounding non-tumor cells. There is increasing evidence that external radiation therapy may also have an immunomodulatory effect. Beta-lutein leads to increased expression of CD20, which creates an opportunity to potentially enhance anti-tumor activity by combining beta-lutein and rituximab. To prepare for beta-lutein treatment and maximize efficacy and tolerability, patients receive an injection of rituximab two weeks earlier to reduce the number of circulating B lymphocytes. Then, just before beta-lutein treatment, a single injection of lilotimab blocks the most accessible binding sites of CD37 in the spleen and bone marrow. The pre-treatment with rituximab and pre-dosing with lilotimab improve the biodistribution of beta-lutein by reducing targeting of healthy B lymphocytes in the spleen and bone marrow and improving targeting of tumor cells. Beta-lutein's continuous low dose rate leaves less time for tumor regrowth and its single dose administration is convenient for patients. Available radioimmunotherapy agents target the same antigen as rituximab. Therefore, a new target is desirable to optimize tumor targeting. The half-life of lutetium-177 is long enough to ensure that the mass of a bulky tumor, such as non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, is irradiated. Lutetium-177 has sufficient energy to effectively kill tumor cells, yet its mean penetration range is shorter than yttrium's, which may minimize the impact on healthy cells. And while prior yttrium-based radioimmunotherapy requires radio-labeling, beta-lutein allows for delivery in a ready-to-use formulation because of lutetium's 6.7-day half-life. This represents a major cost-benefit advantage for healthcare professionals and payers. Beta-lutein from Nordic Nanovector is an investigational new drug for the treatment of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma.